In 1884-85, Bismarck, who was then the big boss around there, called on the Europeans to say, let's not waste time talking with these African savages. We are going to conquer them, grab their lands and resources, and civilize them. That is how they agreed on a set of rules during the Berlin Conference, also known as the West Africa Conference. And by mutual agreement, they jointly came down on us to carve up our territories and butcher us. After World War II, they once again divided the world among themselves. Russia got its share with Eastern Europe. The USA had its part in the Middle East and Latin America. China took Asia and Africa was left to the French and English. It's because the French violated the terms of the deal by meddling in Crimea, Georgia and Ukraine that the Russians are standing by our side today. But make no mistake, they aren't here out of love for us. They are here for their own interests and also to punish France for stepping on their toes. You do me, I do you. What you do at my place, I'll do at yours. Except that in this case, it's actually at our place, our motherland. Today, France is trying to rally all Europeans around the reconquest of the African continent. In the paradigm underlying this aggression, our patriot African leaders don't matter. Our institutions don't matter. It's only what they decide over there that counts. They are certain that there will always be local accomplices, local puppets on the ground, like the ECOWAS or the African Union sellout leadership to ensure their orders are executed. But while this may be true for some African leaders, it's no longer the case for the African people. The French have not evolved. They fail to realize the generational shift that has occurred in Africa. The post-independence era with the likes of Senghor or Oufoué who swore allegiance to French domination is over. The ones who followed, who studied in France, the UK or the US and only felt truly African when following instructions from the Elysee Palace, the Quai d'Orsay, the White House or Downing Street are becoming the minority. Today we are facing a new generation of Africans who do not accept to be told that they are not at home when they go to France or Europe and when they are in Africa or return here, they also encounter French people who say we decide what happens in your country and our interests come first. This new generation of Africans, whether in civilian clothes or in military uniforms, no longer accepts this. It's over. Africa belongs to Africans and we are going to ensure that they get this message perfectly straight by any means necessary. My name is Natalie Yam, and I'm one of the worst nightmares of Western colonialists in Western Central Africa. Francophone Africa is the weakest link in Africa's emancipation. I call upon all economic and political freedom fighters of Southern Africa, Eastern Africa, Northern Africa, and the diaspora to unite with us, to enable us to kick France and the West out of our continent and finally exercise our sovereignty to take off towards progress, prosperity and stability. Amandla.